A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 10 September. On the front page, you have automobile sales still in free fall. So, this is regarding how uptake of commercial vehicles, which is an index of economic activity, has tumbled 39%. That's gone down 39%. Then, this is Amit Shah Ellis fears over new citizenship bill. So, here you can see that is what he has said that rights of indigenous people are safe and he has given this assurance to the people of the northeast that they have nothing to fear from the citizenship amendment bill which the center is going to push through now. So, earlier in the previous tenure, the attempt of the government to pass the citizenship amendment bill which provides citizenship to as to uh, minorities from neighboring countries that is Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh. So, it provides minorities from these countries citizenship of India. So, these minorities includes Hindus, Jains, Sikhs, etc. But not Muslims because in these Muslim majority countries, Muslims are in a majority. So, persecuted non-Muslim migrants uh, will be provided citizenship under this bill. So, northeastern states were protesting and have been protesting against this because the NRC exercise also completely negates, uh, com is completely negated by citizenship amendment bill because NRC is trying to find out illegal migrants from neighboring countries. And this bill is calling for to give citizenship to these illegal migrants. Then this is United Nations Human Rights Commission asks India to end lockdown in Jammu and Kashmir. So UN Human Rights Council has urged India that you know it should end lockdown and the situation in Kashmir has to improve and there have been lakhs who have been excluded from NRC in Assam too that is also a concern which has been pointed out by UNHRC. Then on page 9 you have Tamil Nadu ranks lowest in coverage of iodized salt. So, this is a survey which has found that the national average for household coverage of iodized salt is 76.3% and Jammu and Kashmir ranks the lowest, you can see. So, the top 5 states are Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, Tamil Nadu ranks the lowest. Jammu and Kashmir, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya have high coverage. Then this is terrorists may target South India, says army. So some abandoned boats have been recovered in Sir Creek and the army has received inputs that there may be a terror attack in the southern part of India. Then on editorial page you have a controversial transfer. So this is regarding Chief Justice Tahil Ramani's transfer to Meghalaya High Court. So this is uh, an unusual transfer. Uh, generally transfers to northeastern states. She is Madras High Court Chief Justice and she has been transferred to Meghalaya. So, such cases of such transfers we have seen as punishment in many cases when the judge refused to step down or uh, was proposed to be impeached, then such transfers were conducted to northeastern small states. But a Chief Justice of Madras High Court being transferred uh, to Meghalaya High Court through normal process, this shows collegium systems flaws. So, this is highlighted in this editorial. And the second editorial is belated realization. So, this is regarding President Trump. So, he has now changed his mind over talks with Taliban. So, it is it should be a realization which, had, which should have come sooner because Taliban continued its suicide attacks, terrorist attacks in Afghanistan. And uh, President Trump continued its secret talks with Taliban. Finally, they have decided to uh, end talks with Taliban. Then the lead article is the Amazon fires, an alarm that lacks proportion. So this is regarding the fires in the Amazon forests in, in South America. So this deforestation, the effect of deforestation can be repaired slowly. It will take a lot of time to recover what has been lost. And also fossil fuel emissions cannot be put back into where they came from. So these are concerns and there needs to be an alarm raised at the scale of destruction which is taking place. 
then this is giving age old ties a new shine so this is regarding india russia relations so you know india russia relations have become a balancer in india china relations also so china has been a huge investor in vladivostok and that's why india has also raised its uh, stake here it has also announced 1 billion dollar you know, line of credit for the region so this is about how india russia relations can balance india china relations then on the upper page you have development matters but so does identity so this is regarding a disturbing uh, a federal system which is taking place now you know so federal system in the country where states have their own form of government and central government has its own government in place so this federal system protects the complexity of human identities the, that could pave the way for conflict so you know, so uh, it protects the complexity of human identities it's giving you know uh, it's giving representation to different strata's different uh, you know complexities as it is said of human identities in terms of religion you know caste class etc but then uh, presently the way it has been portrayed it is said federal system could pave the way for conflicts everybody has to come under one governance so this is why well, this is uh, you know protested against it. this article says that development matters yes but so does identity then this is a minor win for india at wto so this is regarding the wto ruling that renewable energy incentives offered by us were discriminatory so we had approached the wto with respect to us regulations on domestic content requirement in renewable energy so this has been a minor win for india on page 12 you have rss flags nrc flaws bags reservation so this is regarding national register of citizens exercise in assam the rashtriya swayamsevak sangh that is rss has said that uh, there are shortcomings in this exercise and they should be removed and all bangladesh immigrants who have found a place in it in the nrc on the basis of forged documents should be excluded so this is the statement given by rss and it says reservations should continue as long as its beneficiaries feel it is required then this is again the continuation of what we see uh, in the editorial too and has been in news for some time regarding tahil ramani it says tahil ramani episode echoes 1981 resignation so madras high court chief justice has decided to resign in face of supreme court collegium recommendation to transfer her to meghalaya high court so it says this finds an echo a distant echo with the choice made by another madras high court chief justice nearly 40 years ago to sacrifice his career and bow out with a sense of self respect so this was in 1981 when president issued order to transfer then chief justice of madras high court mm M. ismail to kerala high court on page 13 you have india to restore more degraded land so prime minister has announced targets revised from 21 million hectares to 26 million hectares by 2030 so this will be the degraded land will which will be restored so the productive capacity of the land uh, declines due to various factors like uh, you know climatic factors and even human intervention so that results in land degradation so india plans to restore land degradation degraded land then this is no imminent ban on single use plastic so this is union environment minister prakash jawadekar who has said that there is no imminent ban he has said that prime minister narendra modi has not spoken about a ban on single use plastic but only said goodbye to it so from october 2 we'll begin an attempt to collect all that waste <coughs> nearly 10000 tons of plastic waste remains uncollected is what he says so what plastic has been generated so far he saying we'll collect that we are not going to ask you to not produce any more of that with single use plastic waste so this is what the environment minister has given as a statement then on international page here you have continuation of news which have been been discussed like the brexit 
case in which now a bill has been passed by the parliament to ensure that no deal Brexit does not take place. An extension of three months is sought if no deal is finalized, which is acceptable to both sides, that is European Union and Britain, which Boris Johnson actually was insisting on no deal Brexit, the present Prime Minister of uh, UK. So this bill has been passed to delay Brexit and it has been got, it has got the Queen's assent to. Then this is regarding again yesterday's front page news regarding how US has called off deal with Taliban, uh, the negotiations which were going on, the peace talks which were going on because Taliban continues to have terror attacks uh, you know, undertaken in, conducted in Afghanistan despite talks going on. So if it cannot have a ceasefire, then there are no need for talks is what US President Donald Trump has said. Then this is North Korea willing to resume talks with US in late September. So North Korea has said that it is willing to have talks with US over its nuclear program. So this is what a senior North Korean diplomat has said. On business page you have tribunal quashes SEBI order against Pricewaterhouse. So SEBI, Securities and Exchange Board of India, the regulator has uh, uh, had given an order against PricewaterhouseCooper, which is uh, an auditing agency. So it had been barred from auditing listed entities for two years for its alleged role in fraud committed at erstwhile Satyam Computer Services. But now an appellate tribunal, the Securities Appellate Tribunal has quashed this SEBI order saying that the regulator couldn't establish the fraud. So this is, a, this is in Jan 2018 when SEBI had barred Pricewaterhouse for two years and uh, now it has, uh, this, the appellate tribunal has, uh, uh, has actually quashed this order. And this case is of 2009 you can see. So, so the audit firm has been asked to disgorge 13.09 crores along with 12% interest premium since January 2009. Then the last page has sports coverage. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.